Museums can, can have qualities beyond architecture, but architecture and the organization of architecture, more than just, you know, I mean, I think now museums have become sort of uh, shapes. I mean, now the, the most interesting museum is the most interesting shape. Um, I don't, personally, I don't think it's, it's not the criteria I'm interested in. I think there's a rela the relationship between the object the spaces the objects sit in, how the visitor sees that, how the building sits within the city, and how all of these layers interconnect. For me, that's the, those are the components of a good museum. When one talks about light, one means one normally means natural light, but of course, in the context of Zumtabel, we're talking about uh, artificial light as well, light in the most general terms. I think we've been working for nearly two years now, 18 months. Uh, well, I think by the time it's finished, it will be nearly two years. I think that they were interested to ask me not as a product designer or a, uh, industrial designer, but as a user, um, a specifier, I mean, someone that works in museums um, in a way, I think, the question to me was, can you help us, you know, work on a light that you might yourself want to use in your own galleries? And I think that's the way I, I perceive the task. In the case of the luminaire, I mean, all we could do is, what I could do as uh, an architect or a designer on this was to really ask questions. And why can't we do this? Or would it be possible to do that? And if we did that, what would happen? Then we tested the, the uh, reality of some of those ideas. You know, if you needed to, if you could take some pieces out and put it separate on a square box instead of the cylinder, is that aesthetically acceptable or not? I don't know. Well, let's try. Let's make. So then we would make lots of models and test what the opportunities were. But in a way, we have to agree with. The, our colleagues in Zumtabel, you know, what are the possibilities, what are the chances to, to do this or to do that? Once some of those opportunities are, are exposed as possibilities, then we had the opportunity to investigate them formally through models and through, through sketches. There was a very clear line that, that took us through this uh, journey.